one I'm gonna interview one of the most uh, known and beautiful women at Dota scene, Shiver. Shiver, say hello. Hi. Um, first of all, I uh, wanna know uh, how did you get into esports? Uh, it was a bit by accident. For like, I'm I'm pretty old to get into the scene, and I, for a very long time, I didn't even know there was such a thing. Um, I started playing uh, Dota 2 in, in 2011 at the end of the, mm -hmm. the year, so after TI1 even, I didn't even know what was going on at that point. And uh, that's when I actually started realizing there was such a thing as esports scene uh, with DreamHack Winter that year. Um, and, and, and at that point, I wanted to do more in that because, you know, it, it appealed to me, so I wanted to do more. And, and I organized a tournament, or at least I helped organize an amateur tournament, Amateur Dota 2, and, and that's how I got into esports. In your city? No, no, it was, a, it was an online tournament. Uh, it was a, the Mishmash tournament where a lot of amateur teams, and it was a best of three everything. It was a very long, drawn out tournament, but it, it was fun. It was your first experience? Yes, uh, yeah, at all. I mean, I, I was streaming a bit of Dota already on, uh, on owned at that point. And, um, well, at that point, I wanted to do, like, we wanted to get some more publicity for the tournament that we organized. So at some point, we decided, well, we might as well stream the game. And then me and another admin uh, were sitting there watching the game that, we were, that I was streaming and quiet and it's like okay this is awkward <laughs> might as well you know talk about the game so so we started casting and and that's that's how i got into casting so yeah uh, did you play in Dota first or uh, warcraft maybe i uh we had um we had starcraft we played some aid of, aid of strife uh but warcraft 3 is when i really started to play dota more and uh warcraft 3 frozen throne frozen throne as well uh but then world of warcraft came out and i stopped playing dota at all and i just played world of warcraft for a uh, for a long time what's about your real life of of <laughs> offline life um how you spend in your f mm, free time, your weekends, maybe holidays? T t tell us something about it. Uh, well, since I um, since I started working in Dota, basically, I haven't had a holiday. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, events like this do kind of feel sometimes like a holiday, though it's work. It's just a lot of fun. Uh, so I didn't have a, I haven't had a holiday for a long time, uh, but uh, other than that, like this is this is not my job. So to make it work, I have to actually work every day of the week for it. I do take days off and, and there are friends that I can go out with and sometimes shop with as well. So I, I do have, a, I'll have that and I watch a lot of movies as well. Uh, but other than that, like that, that's it. It's mostly Dota at this point. It's kind of it's kind of boring, but in a good way. Mm -hmm. Do you like shopping, uh, shopping and other uh, girl stuff? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I, I never really used to shop that much. And then, then TI4 came along and I'm like, oh my God, this is like 16 days of event. I have to have a different outfit <laughs> for each day if I'm on camera. So I went shopping and, and I really enjoyed it. And then at TI itself, there was a, a makeup lady and mm -hmm. um, like she did all my face all pretty and stuff. And afterwards I'm like, oh, I want to be able to do that too. And now I'm in a, I'm in a new phase where I'm a kind of addicted to buying makeup that I don't really need and can't really use and it's like I, I kind of start to discover that part of myself a bit late in my life but I yes I do like the curly stuff as you call it yes maybe you have a, another hobby uh, which we did not didn't know yet um, Maybe singing or uh, I don't know. Well, I, I, I like singing. I like singing a lot. I might not sing very well. I sometimes sing for my stream and, and the most of them like it. But, you know, it's mostly it's mostly for me. I, I like doing it. Uh, I used to horseback ride a lot. So, so it's a very expensive hobby. So I don't really do that anymore. And um, other hobbies that I've had. No, that, that's kind of it. Like, I, I, still, I still sing sometimes and I, st I shop now. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> that's a good hobby too. Uh, do you like uh, Star Ladder? I mean, generally, do you like uh, people? Uh, do you like uh, atmosphere? I, I I love it. This is my third Star Ladder already, and like I was really hoping, like I'm hoping I get invited back, cause, cause it's it's just so great. Like it's a good atmosphere. The event is great. The people are amazing, and. It's like it was my first uh, LAN experience where I actually worked. I did go to DreamHack before, but not to work, just as a visitor. And it was just so great. Like I want to, I want to come back every time because it's it's amazing. It's four days, and it's it's the perfect time. Like it's not not too short, but not not too long either. It's it's amazing. I love it. 
uh, did you place the historical uh, places in Kiev? Maybe you went to Maidan or... I actually, I, I'm like, this is my third time in Kiev. I've never, like this street that, that Starletter is on, and basically the road to the hotel, it's about all I've been. <laughs> Apart from when, when we were put in a, in a taxi to go somewhere, place else, but then you only see the inside of a bar. So, no, I've not seen anything of Kiev itself. Uh, why not? Uh, maybe this Starlighter, you will fix it and <laughs> <laughs> go, I don't know, walk somewhere. Uh, well, it's uh, it's a very busy schedule, so I don't think I'll have time. And on Monday morning, my my flight actually leaves at 7 a.m., <laughs> so oh. <laughs> don't have time for that this season. Next next season, it gives me it gives me an excuse to come back. That's good. Okay. Um, I wanna know about your work. Uh, with who you likely cast th the most? Do you have? Um, favorite commentator? <laughs> um, well, I, I, I don't cast that much anymore at the moment, uh, or at least I, I cast some when, uh, when you and Doda need, uh, need assistance, and I casted some Star Ladder as well when, uh, when Bulldog wanted to co-cast with me, so that was fun. Um, I casted th during the, the qualifiers for TI4, I casted with Kuroki. That was a great experience. Like I would say like he's probably one of my favorite co-casters of all times, even though I only cast him with him once, so uh, that says something. Uh, that was great. And overall, I just... I don't know, I just like most co-casters. I don't think that, like, there's no co-caster that I casted with where I, I thought, like, mm -hmm. like, this sucks. And mostly, like, I, I, can, I can get along well with most people, so mm -hmm. most people I also co-cast well with. Mm -hmm. uh, which team uh, sh show ga the game most entertainment? Which uh, team you like to watch uh, more, more than else? At the moment, I am a Team Secret fangirl, so mm -hmm. so that that would be my answer. Team Secret. They they also play very very aggressively, and it's mostly fun to watch. And they're all over the place, and with their heroes, with their draft, with with their the action that they show, and they have good results too. That helps. That does help. Can you do some uh, pr predict some results? Who's gonna uh, win? Uh, win and. Um, who's gonna be second and third place? So um, I think like for the first two places, mm -hmm. and I don't know which one would be first, but the, for the two finalists, I would say EG and Team Secret. Uh, mm -hmm. They both look really strong. For the third place, I would have said Cloud9, but mm -hmm. uh, since now Bone7 can't play, mm -hmm. I'm not sure anymore if they can do that. And then I would say probably Navi third, mm -hmm. or Cloud9 still. It depends on who they get as a stand-in. It really depends on that. Okay, uh, thank you, Shiva, for the interview. I wish you uh, entertainment games <laughs> and uh, maybe I uh, uh, can tell s some words for your fans and viewers. Yeah, well, th thank you for watching. If you're my fan, you're absolutely awesome and, you know, you're the reason I'm here. So thanks. And thanks for the interview, of course, too. Thank you. Bye.